Welcome on back everybody to this country playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Last time out, we got to Cosmo Canyon, did some exploration. We got Bahama, but uh, yeah, sort of failed at the um, piano playing. Um, I'm not going to play it. I've only still got a B rank. I can't get any better than that, and I'm just not wasting a lot of my time to do that. Um, I probably tried it for about 20 minutes, and I was getting nowhere near, so no point. Another chakra. Alright. I'll come back and do the um do it at some point. Okay then. Okay, I thought we were going in the right direction, but evidently not. The ceiling is so high. In. Let's head this way then. Oh, that's the bonfire. Somehow, probably here actually. Probably some stuff out here. That's so good. I'm sure we went up there though, to that. And who doesn't like this music? One of the better themes. Must be this way. Yeah. Um, did I just miss a... Quick, I think I missed a shot. Have you heard about it's the inn, that's why. That Must be this way. Wow, so I've missed some tiger fangs and a red megaphone somewhere. Magic based. Put attack up. Boost attack power while on body strength is active with 5% at chi 1 and 10 at chi 2. Sure. Give you some health.
don't know why she's got wind twice here. Give her a petrify. Uh, let's give a first strike here. And you had one too. Moogle Kaboom. Has no material. I don't even want to use it. It's fine. Use my weapons for anything unsavory. We won't. We pinky promise. Something about God, I'm right. How can I be of service? Any new material? No. It's normally where you get your first HP up the in the game. Can't really fuss about the MP. Increase limit when st staggering an enemy is probably better. Um, is there anything you've got? Sweet and sour salvo. Yuffie. Sure. You have nothing. Red. 35 points. Wow. Any more tens? That is not. Cool. All right. It's up here. Tonics, liniments, filters. We have everything you need to cure what ails you. Get the booster packs. Spectre card, hey? <laughs> what? Why is there two? Oh, accessories. Nothing new. Alright, let's go find Bugenhagen. Watcher of the Veil, vale, like those before me, until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that. You're only making this harder. I mean, I wish we had more time, but. This is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Not a thing! Is that you, my boy? Coming!
So, was that goodbye? Nah, I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. The real question is, why'd we come here? To learn the secrets of planetology. Come on. Can't forget that materia. As for me. Ah, that will do. I'm gonna steal some shut eye if you don't mind. Then we can see the sights. Pilgrimage. There's a hard player. Probably up there. Feel the energy all around you. It rides the winds across our planet. At our very through the veils. The car, traveler. You've more than a passing interest in Queen's blood. It has bewitched you. Be at ease. It is only natural to hear its call. Queen's blood is of the planet and for the planet. It, like all things, is part of the great cycle that connects us. Indeed, each and every card holds within it a greater purpose, one that belies their form. Come, join me in a match that you too may glimpse the truth of our great mother. Oh yeah, we need to go to the Dust Bowl to defeat Wise 3.0 version 2. Um, let's have a look at the deck here. Let's look at these cards that we just got. So we've got you. When first enhanced lower its power of enemy cards on effects of tile by 4. thinking this might be good. Oh. Earth is that. It's another one of that type of card. That's interesting. Cave Stalker, not overly fussed with. Some really weird combinations here, aren't there? And we've got the Destruction ones. Which I think that's the best one. You don't really... And to use it for, well, you can't place it down initially. Okay, we'll leave our deck as it is. Oh, for several water. Um, let's. Do that. We'll take that. Asshole. Uh, 
Okay, let's restart here. I didn't have a particularly good, great draw of cards there. This isn't a great start either, to be honest. It's better. Let's get this in. Let's do this. And play destroyed enemy cars and affected tiles. So I can win here. Let's yeah, can do too much, but with that top one. Yeah, we're good with that. A turn I did not expect, which confirms my fears. A strange, wicked pall hangs over the life stream, and a similar dark energy has corrupted Queen's blood. Be careful. The game's pleasures belie the thorns beneath, that will bleed you slowly and surely. Many devotees have succumbed to the darkness of which I spoke. Too many. Remember, the cards are a link between us and the planet. If you are in trouble, reach out. She shall answer. Oh, great mother, hear my prayer. Watch over your son. Right. Watcher to be. Lift your gaze to the heavens. Watch as the clouds drift through the sky. Going which want to see if there's anything else around, but I don't think there is. Uh, Barrett's in here, I guess. Yeah. Assembly. Cool. Right. I think it is time we just go over to find Bugenhagen. And that'll be kicking off Red's mission. Another card player. Wow, it's going up high. Ah, 
<laughs> Not so fast. Sorry, but visitors aren't allowed in here. You see, this is where we keep all our valuables. Well, let me in then. Won't take too much, I promise. Again, just look at this. So good. Are the friends I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you for looking after Marmaki. My name is Wolkenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our veil and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. Oh, <laughs> Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Namaki? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> but where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. <laughs> Gadgets and gizmos are plenty. Oh, ho, ho. have my devices piqued your curiosity? They are essential to my studies of the planet. a scale model of our planet and the surrounding stars. One could say the dust it's collected represents the people who live upon it. While that may appear to be little more than a glistening mineral at a glance, it is in fact a crystallized collection of our planet's memories. Nice. Anything else? That records fluctuations in various energies. I must ask that you handle it with care. It's a rather delicate device, you see. More? Those devices are testing the pull of gravity. Excellent cloud. Let's head up. We've all been worried sick about Nanaki, fellow Bugenhagen chiefly among us. That little scamp. I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. That is one of the first Marco detectors ever built. Hmm. 
Hmm. Though I suspect it can't detect much now. It's nothing. Can we go up again. That right there is a type of a current generator. It harnesses the power of the wind to produce new airflows of its own. Perhaps you've encountered them before during your travels. I have indeed. stars than through this scope <laughs> but the lens could do with some cleaning my apologies how many of these things are there mind your manners in front of fellow duty I think there so oh, I missed one somewhere we observe here have traveled to us from the far reaches of time and space to gaze at the star. Nothing here. The only thing I can f oh. that again, Too often of late. This tubing allows us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them with our own eyes. Two in the Corel and Gungaga reactors. They were loud and huge. <laughs> Fascinating account, were it true. However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Um, excuse me? Oh, oh. yes. That would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. How rude. Is this the scene that I think it is? I present to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado... This is only the beginning. A shooting star! Planetology 
is not simply the study of the cosmos and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. Rather, it is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. planet we call home. It was from its soil, so teeming with life, that mankind was born. And like all living things, man is fated to die. So, what happens next? The body withers and returns to the planet. But what of the mind? The spirit, the soul. Much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. To the great river where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt name, though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star, the blood coursing through its planetary veins. And, if ever that essence were to be entirely depleted, Powerful stuff. Of course, these are but basic principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry, that energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery, then fade away. Okay, but does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. You rang? Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Hey, can I come? Nice. Got a question. Planet runs out of energy. It and everything on it dies, right? Yes. There any way to avoid this? Like making the spiritual energy stronger? Why are you asking me such things? <clears throat> I'm sorry. I've come to realize that I'm somewhat stuck in the past. We've entered an era in which humanity exerts unprecedented influence over its environs. And as both the planet and society evolve, so too must science. And yet it seems that I cannot. Perhaps I'm much too old of a dog to learn any new tricks. Okay. Head back down then. Uh, 
Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. Awesome. If we've anything to do, it is not our fellow man. Oh, I got a chest. And so I bid you her children. Looks like a weapons chest. Oh, five Moogle medals. We shall never succumb to fear of celestial calamity. Five thousand gil. There's a chest. Yeah, these are weapon would have been weapons chests, I'm sure of it. Probably for red, surely. Nope. Crystal megaphone. Megaphone whose gorgeous gem adds a soothing resonance to the user's voice. Legal magic. Using equipped summon ability, you can only use while riding Moogle during battles in which summons are available. Got to increase with each use. Okay. You have Kajata. the weapon on that attack power healing spells by 10 or we'll do luck and that's everything in here We go this way. I'm sure, I saw a card player. Yes. Maps. So expansive. <laughs> Fancy running into you here. Say, how about I get a shot of you giving thanks to the planet? One must exercise patience in the pursuit of I invite you to do so now. Set free the secrets within. The beauty of this place is unreal. Pictures can't do it justice. Wonders such as these have to be experienced in person. I want to believe I can capture this magic. I'm looking for spots with a spiritual feel, if you know any. Cool. I invite you to do so now. Set free the right. secrets within. And Tell me. I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means, please come and join the seminar. Follow me if you would. Which would you say is a more worthy pursuit? I will. They are both born in the same place. Once we've done this. Oh, ho! Oh, it's our very first catch of the day, folks. We have ourselves a challenger. Hello, sir. Care to tell the folks at home who you are? Ha ha ha. Could this shark 
be more of a guppy? Well, I spy a row of razor sharp teeth in this little fishy's maw. You might be the QB killer we've been waiting for, but there's only one way to find out. That's right, our audience doesn't want to hear commentary, they want to see blood. To up the ante, our challenger's opponent will be none other than your host with the most, me, Bernard. Wow, Bernard. Um, I want to edit my deck here. Don't like this. When ally cards are played from the hand, raise this card's power. I'm going to put this back in, I think. And we get Reaper Tail. We shall keep this. Uh, let's do that. Start off moogling. And I'll tighten. Expecting the well, he's yeah, it's gonna take it. Just fine. Let's do that. Oh was decent. do this. There we go. Not too difficult. So we get to the Reaper Tail for that. Talk about carnage, am I right? I'm lucky I got out of that match with my limbs intact. Today's shark is a ferocious man-eating menace. He made a serious splash with some ruthless moves. Players the world over have got to be shaken in their boots. Something tells me this beast is about to upset the QB food chain. Better start swimming. Congratulations to you, sir, for an incredible match. Though we found the canyon's resident shark, the fun never ends on this show. 
Stay tuned because we've got more coming your way. Awesome. All right, he's done. I ask you this: Who among you has looked inward? All right, let's do the assembly. been on the bigger side but I've never please continue on into the assembly Singing and poetry are more my thing my old man he he used to say it was a waste me spending all my time indoors according to him a big kid like me was using to what about you miss you must have a story to share please me? Uh, okay. I, uh, where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But there was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't... I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is... I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... <sighs> Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. See you at the festival. All right, let's pick up these. Let's head down and do that as well. Before we wrap up. I think meditation has really all the time I've spent. And then I think we've been in a position to hopefully do Red's mission. It's nice that they got this fast travel esque system with the elevators. It's helpful. Oh man, that was brilliant. Wow, so many tourists. Must be quite the festival. Did I sound as awkward as I felt? You did good. Can't help it if they suck at listening. I got what you were saying. I kind of wanted everyone to get it, though. To hell with everyone. 
Great advice. Thanks. Yeah, that's Tifa, best girl. I had the pleasure of talking to a mentor. Said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? No, we fight, or nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Merc. Thanks. Wow, so many tourists. Must be quite the festival. Look at them, gathered around the fire. Just like us that day. Me and Mom and Dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. All Linden here. Whenever I think about my mom, my chest swells with so much pride, I, I feel like it'll burst. But when it comes to my dad, I just... Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. When you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. Why do you think that? I just do. I believe in anything else until I see some actual proof. All right, Earth. So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients, or to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will, I've been watched, I've been ignored, even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never going to be normal. That much was clear. So my blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life, friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy even. And all that pain feels worth it. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given.
It is time! <sighs> Whoa! Savvy, huh? Meant every word, though. So, this is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean all of you. Join me, would you? What did you right. think of the River of Light? For whatever reason, the ceremony has drawn a number of tourists to the Vale as a... Right, ladies, we're going to call this one a part here. So please like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. It really does help me out. Up next, we'll go and do uh, Nanaki's sort of side piece. Um, yeah, really looking forward to how they've uh, done, excuse me, done that. So yeah, there'll be some more fun fantasies and rebirth coming away shortly. And I'll see you all in the next one.